Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's the round rather than jumping straight into the video. I just want to show you guys the supplies I use. I first start off by having a little candle and also my cup of water just to keep myself hydrated while I do my planning because usually when I get caught up with my art, I kind of don't really want to leave the table so I like to have a cup of water at hand. And then the next thing that I use, and this is something that I just started using, is a wet cloth as well. I use this wet cloth to wipe my brushes after I wash them because I used to use a lot of tissue paper and I just thought that that generated a lot of waste. So I'm just trying to cut down on that by using a cloth instead. The next thing that I use are of course my paint palette and I use my palette knife to pick out my my paints from their cup i have paint brushes and i recently got new winds and newton paint brushes and last but not least i'm just getting my paints out and for my background i'm going to be using a mix of two colors so i'm going to be using the indigo color from winds and newton and i'm going to be using the paints gray color as well from paul rubens and i'm just going to be mixing them up equal portions and i decided to paint them in two coats and also you can just see how well the watercolor papers holding up against the watercolors i did use a decent amount of water but you can see that the paper is still more or less flat against the table after it has totally dried and doesn't really buckle that much and for, so for my theme for much it is going to be a combination of planets and flowers and actually this is a theme that i have been thinking of doing since the middle of last year but i didn't really get a chance to do so because there were always other themes that i wanted to do first and i feel that this theme was a little bit daunting for me because i could picture it in my head but i think it was one of those things that i was scared that the execution wouldn't really be as good as what i pictured in my head I decided to do just a mix of planets and flowers and i thought about this when i saw a few pictures of it on pinterest i think that it looks really cute together and also because i have some space and planet stickers from tito and jot and i wanted to use them in my bullet journal so i think now it's a really appropriate time for me to use those stickers and so for my cover page, the background is solely watercolor and then afterwards I am just sprinkling some gold watercolor paint as well just to give a little dreamy look of stars in the night sky. I wanted the planet in front to be really opaque and really saturated. I am using gouache paints as usual. This is hands down my most favorite medium to use just because of how e easy it is to layer on top of one another. It has the opacity slightly closer to acrylic paints, of course depending on how much water you want to incorporate. So I'm just using a mixture of different colors and I'm just looking at a little photo from Pinterest as well when I'm painting this just for a little bit of inspiration as to how I want the planet to turn out. I think this planet was kind of meant to mimic Saturn and um, instead of the normal rings, I want uh, a ring of flowers instead. I was really hoping that it would turn out as well as I was thinking it. For my planet, I just painted a really light base coat of beige and then just layering different colors on top and then just blending them really well with each other. Just left that little ring of space in the middle and I am going to be coloring and drawing the little florals with my acrylograph pens and uh, I just tried to get a little bit of variety in the color palette of my acrylographs and at the same time I wanted to really stick to more neutral colors so you could see that the colors I used are mostly muted with a few pop of colors here and there just so that there's a little bit of variety but at the same time the ring around Saturn wouldn't be too overpowering if that makes sense. So I'm just drawing different flowers in and honestly this part was really quite fun and I could see the whole painting come together. And so this is just how it looks like. I think it looks super cute and I am really happy with how it turned out. I think this theme, kind of like my February theme, is a little bit out of my comfort zone in the sense that I was pretty fearful when it came to the actual setting out of my spreads. And I think it is just the fear of the blank page to look at a page and just having to start somewhere. 
And I guess sometimes the inertia of starting and just doing it is pretty scary. But I think this just goes to show that no matter how scary it is, it's always better to just try and you know, if it doesn't work out well, we can always just redo it again. I mean, that has happened to me a few times before. I remember my December theme in which I did pine cones. The first time I tried to paint a pine cone, it turned out so horrible that I had to redo it on my watercolor paper and just cover my mistake up. The entire, you know, process of me painting, failing and trying again was just really a bit stressful at times. But being able to see the end result really makes it all worth it. And it also helps me to gain the confidence in knowing that progress takes time and even though the painting may not look very great still in the process but I think you know just being able to keep going at it the end result may end up surprising you this time around for March I am going to be doing a small coat page on the left hand side and because I have this stack of different colored papers from Arch and Olive I decided to use it as well blue paper really fits in really well with the entire theme and then I'm just writing a little quote and the quote just says she walked in moon dust and stars were sprinkled in her hair and I think it was just a really more magical quote and I like it so I decided to just add that in. After that, we are done with my cover page. And now moving on to my calendar spread, I am doing a quick sketch of the moon along with some daisies as well. This moon sketch was actually inspired by Plant Based Bright. She did a similar theme in 2021 i'm not sure which month she did it in she did a sketch of the moon as well on the cover page and her sketch looked so beautiful and elegant that i really wanted to recreate it as well and definitely my sketch is nowhere near as good as hers but i think for the calendar spread is good enough for me i really didn't want to spend too much time on each of my sketches for each of, of my spreads because i do have quite a lot of spreads to do each month and i don't really have the luxury of time to you know spend a lot of time on each spread so i'm just doing mostly quick sketches of them all and after that is done i am also doing a little bit of shading with my sakura pigment micro pens and i really love using these pens because they are waterproof so that really allows me to give a good sketch and then afterwards i'm still able to paint over it without the lines getting smudged and then i'm using my watercolors once again i think this month is really a month in which i used many different mediums for March. Uh, I'm using gouache, watercolors and acrylographs as well like paint markers as well as tombow brush pens. Uh, I think that would be more for my weekly setups though. I may want to try using color pencils as well when setting up my weekly spreads but I'm still considering that. I recently bought a pack of Prismacolor color pencils and tried them out a little bit recently but not too extensively. I'm writing out all my dates for me to just write down the things that I have planned on the right hand side and I must say that the more I use these mini calendars the more I'm loving them and after all is done I am just embellishing my page with some washi tape and then I am just sprinkling the same gold watercolor paint on the right hand side of the page just to give it a little bit of color as well and afterwards I am moving on to my one line a day spread I am doing a little kind of dutch dot idea for my one line a day spread as well so I was kind of inspired to do the same one line a day spread layout as I had in January I think where I did uh, two columns of design on the left and on the right hand side and then in the middle would be where I write down my thoughts for the day and I really liked how it turned out so I kind of wanted to have that same layout for the month of March as well. And this time around, I had this idea in my head where I wanted there to be some form of symmetry. On the left hand side, I wanted to paint out those moon phases. And on the right hand side, I kind of wanted to mirror that idea of a kind of life cycle of a flower, whereby I show the growth of a flower from the seed all the way to when a flower ultimately will. And I think I just wanted to mirror that with the moon as well. And so because of this idea that I had in my head, I realized there wasn't much space for me to do my title 
So I decided to do that Dutch door so that I can just have my title in the middle of the page without having to compromise the space that I have for writing down my thoughts for the day. And I think I really just like the idea of changing seasons and the circle of life. And for the background, I'm just using that same mix of Payne's Grey and Indigo as I used for my cover page. And then afterwards, I'm just going back in to paint my moon phases with the same gold paint. And also for the month of March, I decided not to have a mood or a habit tracker. My mood and habit trackers were getting a little bit tedious for me to fill up. I felt that it was becoming a little bit more of a burden than it was helping me to be motivated to do all my different habits and stuff. As for my mood tracker, I don't think it is absolutely necessary for me to track my mood every single day. What I feel is more important to me is to have my one line a day spread so that I know exactly what I did for that specific day rather than just to have you know a mood tracker to just see my mood and I think in the future when I look back the mood tracker is not going to mean so much to me as a one line a day spread is going to help me you know to kind of bring to remembrance past memories and reminisce on the past so decided to just leave them out for this month I may bring them back in future months I think I was just getting a little bit tired with having to set up so many spreads every single month. Also for my habit trackers, I am going to try something new whereby I incorporate my habits into my weekly spreads instead. I think you guys can kind of tell if you guys follow me on my Instagram that my weekly spreads do kind of look a bit empty sometimes. And that's because I have a fixed job from 8 to 5. Hence, I don't really need to do lists all that much. So I think it'd be great for me to have that space to track my habits as well that's what i am going to try out for the month of march i'm just always just trying to streamline my bullet journaling so that it helps me and i don't do spreads just because i feel inclined to do it if that makes sense because at the end of the day i want to set up my bullet journal in such a way where i want to use it and i feel like it adds on to my life and makes my life easier rather than making me dread opening it up because i know that there are um, trackers that i have to fill up and feeling i guess a burden to do so moving on to my faith log this was actually something that i was considering to do for my cover page and that is water lilies as well as some aquatic plants in a little lake that is actually in a water bowl but the water bowl is actually a planet if that makes sense and then i'm just painting it the same method as i did for my cover page And afterwards, I am finally moving on to my last spread for March, which is my first weekly setup. And I also did a small reel for this weekly setup. I think this month's theme has really given me a lot of ideas in terms of my weekly spreads. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I have planned for all of my weekly spreads for March. So if you guys want to see how my weekly spreads look like, do follow me on Instagram. The link is down below in the description box. I do try to post more regularly there now, so do go and follow my instagram if you guys would like to see my different spreads for much yeah but for the first week setup i'm just doing a half sun and the other half are daisies and because the sun itself looked a little bit there i decided to do a small face as well i decided to paint my daisies golden as well just to balance out the yellow on both sides And afterwards, I am done. And that's all that I have for this month's setup. It is really one of my more favorite themes, I must say. 
And normally when I do my setups, there are always those few spreads in which I'm not fully satisfied with how it turned out. But I think for March, it was one of the rarer months in which I was really satisfied with every single one of my spreads. So I'm really excited to see how this entire theme turns out for the entire month of March. That's all I have for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, definitely don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!